Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. This is part 26 of Tafsir Ibn Kathir. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Wa idh qulna lil malaikati sjudu li adama fasajadu illa iblisa aba wa stakbara wa kana min al-kaidin. And remember when we said to the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam. And they prostrated except Iblis, Shaitan. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers, i.e. disobedient to Allah. Honoring Adam when the angels prostrated before him. Allah tells us, وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَ فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَى وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ and remember when we said to the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam, and they prostrated except Iblis, Shaitan. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers, i.e. disobedient to Allah. This ayah mentions the great honor that Allah granted Adam, and Allah reminded Adam's offspring of this fact. Allah commanded the angels to prostrate before Adam, as this ayah and many hadiths testify, such as the hadith about the intercession that we discussed. There is a hadith about the supplication of Musa. Oh my Lord, show me Adam who caused us and himself to be thrown out of paradise. Oh my Lord, show me Adam who caused us and himself to be thrown out of paradise. When Musa met Adam, he said to him, are you Adam whom Allah created with his own hands, blew life into and commanded the angels to prostrate before? Iblis was among those ordered to prostrate before Adam, although he was not an angel. When Allah commanded the angels to prostrate before Adam, Iblis was included in this command. Although Iblis was not an angel, he was trying and pretending to imitate the angels. He was trying and pretending to imitate the angels' behavior and deeds, and this is why he was included in the command to the angels to prostrate before Adam. Satan was criticized for defying that command. As we will explain with detail, Allah willing, when we mention the tafsir of Allah's statement, Illa Iblis akana min al jinni fa an amri rabbi, except Iblis, he was one of the jinn. He disobeyed the command of his Lord. Quran chapter 18, verse 50. Similarly, Muhammad ibn Ishaq reported that Ibn Abbas said, quote, Before he undertook the path of sin, Iblis was with the angels and was called Azazil. He was among the residents of the earth and was one of the most active worshippers and knowledgeable persons among the angels. This fact caused him to be arrogant. Iblis was from the genus called Jinn. End quote. The prostration was before Adam, but the obedience was to Allah. The prostration was before Adam, but the obedience was to Allah. Qatada commented on Allah's statement, And remember when we said to the angels, prostrate yourselves before Adam, Quote, they dis quote, the obedience was for Allah and the prostration was before Adam. Allah honored Adam and commanded the angels to prostrate before him. End quote. Some people said that this prostration was just a prostration of greeting, peace, and honor. Hence Allah's statement, وَقَالَ يَا أَبَتِ هَذَا تَأْوِيلُ رُؤْيَايَ مِنْ قَبْلُ قَدْ جَعَلَهَا رَبِّي حَقَّ And he, i.e. Prophet Yusuf, raised his parents to the throne and they fell down before him prostrate. And he said, O my father, this is the interpretation of my dream aforetime. My Lord has made it come true. Quran chapter 12 verse 100. The practice of prostrating was allowed for previous nations, but was repealed for ours. Mu'adh said to the Prophet 
Quote, I visited a sham and found that they used to prostrate before their priests and scholars. You, O Messenger of Allah, are more deserving of prostration. End quote. The Prophet ﷺ said, لا لو كنت آمرا بشرا أن يسجد لبشر لا أمرت المرأة أن تسجد لزوجها من عظم حقه عليها. Prophet ﷺ said, No. If I was to command any human to prostrate before another human, I would command the wife to prostrate before her husband because of the enormity of his right on her. Ar-Razi agreed with this view. Also, Qatada said about Allah's statement, فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسَ أَبَى وَاسْتَكْبَرَ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ And they prostrated except Iblis. He refused and was proud and was one of the disbelievers. Qatada said, quote, Iblis, the enemy of Allah, envied Adam because Allah honored Adam. He said, I was created from fire and he was created from clay. Therefore, the first error ever committed was arrogance. For the enemy of Allah was too arrogant to prostrate before Adam. End quote. I, Ibn Kathir, say, the following is recorded in the Sahih. لا يدخل الجنة من كان في قلبه مثقال حبة من خردل من كبر. No person who has the weight of a mustard seed of arrogance in his heart shall enter paradise. Iblis had disbelief, arrogance, and rebellion, all of which caused him to be expelled from the holy presence of Allah and His mercy. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen.